Okay, let's let's see if I've gotten things set up correctly in some fashion because I've been doing that for like the last hour and then looked at the time and then realized I was supposed to start like now, <laughs> like two minutes ago. Anyway, oh, don't use that word. That's a bad word. It is. That is a very bad word. Is it the music or the mic though? But yeah, anyway. C3, it is, it is upon us, it is here, um, is the mic, my mic is loud, let me turn the gain down, there we go, hopefully that's, that's better, um, yeah, I had a micro, I had a Windows update, uh, like yesterday or the day before, and things have not been, the same it has not been the same every windows update it screws with my audio setup uh because i have virtual audio cables and i never know if i have it set up right until i start streaming and i apologize uh for that which i can i can still turn it down like i have the slider on on obs i have an actual gain control on my mic <laughs> uh too low I can turn it, I can, I'm, I'm just trying to find like the best, the best spot. Cause I have gain on my mic. I have a control on OBS itself. So I'm just trying to find like the sweet spot. I thought I had maybe someone mess with my mic, which is possible that has happened before. But we are here at C3. Uh, it's the first day. It is, it is the very first day of C3. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't know where to, where to start. Um, it started about an hour and a half ago. I opted to wait about an hour and a half to have, uh, some things populating, but, uh, yeah, yeah, we have, we have a bunch of, we have a bunch of stuff. Um, speaking of. So I'm kind of covering day one. I was going to play more Mario Omega because I missed last week because of the heat wave and it was just way too hot to do anything. Um, and then I realized yesterday uh, when I was going to stream, I woke up at like 1030 and I'm like, ah, that's not going to that's not going to work. So C3 is today. A little break from Mario Omega. I'm streaming today. Uh, nope is going to be streaming part of Saturday and then uh, I believe we're going to be hosting third wall later for some special stuff and then uh, I think nope is back on Sunday to look for uh, more stuff but uh, here we go we have we have musics we have graphics uh, more music miscellaneous ROM hacking I'm actually curious. I'm, I'm curious about let's let's check out the miscellaneous ROM hacking that we have here. Mo oh, wow. Monty Mole, Disco Shell, Super Mario Bros. 3. Like this is this is something Super Mario Bros. 3 hacking has really taken off in the last year or so. And it's really underrated. It really is like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this little like Monty Mole man and Disco Shell. Exploding platform. This, however, right here. <laughs> what is this? This is the um, uh, Super Mario World uh, nest thing. Bootleg Super Mario World. This is this is <laughs> this is amazing. I love this. Oh. Bootleg, bootleg Super Mario World. If you've never, if you've never played it, it is like the most janky but fun thing ever to just like try and go through. So, I, I really, I really like it. It is very, very nice. So, it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun little thing. Let's see. Let us go back up here. Let's see what else we have. 
ROM hack guessing game. We can look at Nope's. We can look at Nope's thread because I don't think Nope will want to look at his own thread. But uh, uh, think of judging old C. Yes, judge them. Nope, D judge them. Uh, is this? No, this isn't your actual. Oh, it is your your actual judge level. You know what? You know what? I should I should make sure I should probably move that just to make sure I don't have like weird things on my desktop. I don't, luckily. But uh that's something I should probably <laughs> make sure is not there. Uh judge level, let's see, put it into this one. I have probably played this um the version that you posted but but we can we can go through it again uh let's see emulator where did i put it not there there we go i am doing like a uh screen region this time so hopefully hopefully nothing's too uh, too bad Okay, so you up the uh, time limit. I can show you all the cheese that I do when, when I was testing it. Uh, I was. I can show you all the cheese because it it really wasn't like figuring it out. Like the first part of it really wasn't that bad because I came over. And I'm like, oh, it's a it's a turtle. I'm like, it's a green shell. That must be death because I I jumped very incorrectly there um it should be a jumpy boy because why else would you have a, a green shell i mean there's game sounds should be game sounds it just might be quiet but yeah so you jump on this dude you come up here you can grab this guy and then bop that grab this and then you rush. You do this and that. And completely miss the berries. God. F fark. There we go. Um, It's not hearing the game. It's hearing something else. Me. It should be. Should be hearing the game. What if I set it to this? And then go back to the game. There we go. I mean, I still have the music on as well. I can mute the music for a second. And, uh... There we go. That should be, hopefully... Hopefully that's, uh, the game. But... Okay, let that guy go, do this, get here. Um, what I can do now is I can drop this shell. So what what I learned is you can do this, and then you can like despawn the red the yellow shell by doing this, and then you can go get the like the yellow shell again if you really want it. And I bel I think that can cheese part of it, but I don't fully remember. Also there we go jump here do this oh I I uh, flamed that shell there we go come back over here oh yeah if you if you have the yellow you um get the yellow shell again you can actually uh, skip that goomba thing that's what it is and then I stomped the shell and I shouldn't have. Man, man, ah. Let's see, let's do it again. Let's do it again. It's really not that long. So I don't, I don't mind giving it a couple tries, but yeah, like you can, you can get, um, pretty much all the, the fuzzies early. Bop. Ow. Bad turtle. Wait, I don't want that shell anymore. 
if you use that shell after you bop uh, the green turtle out, it becomes normal, like a normal shell. It's kind of weird, actually. If you have the red Koopa jump into it again, it does not uh, produce another jumpy boy. So that is that is the thing. Also, I realize I'm probably playing. Frick. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't realize that you could do that. That's fine. Well, what is up? We are we are running through some C3 stuff. This is Nope's uh, level he made as a judge level for uh, like the old. Come on, come on, Rick. There we go. I am not great at getting that yellow shell. So do that. Do this. Oh wait, I remember what it is. You do this. And then you can do this, and then you can get this shell. Frick. <laughs> Let, let's just let's just let's just do this, um, so I can show off like what I did, uh, first time. Frick, why, why? Anyway, I th I threw the red shell up there because you can't burn the rocks, right? But I threw the the shell up there, and then. If you do this correctly, you can land like on the other side of Yoshi and not actually like hit the shell. And then you can drop that one there. And then this shell is still active. So you can do this, right? And then you can completely bypass this yellow shell. Like, so you can, you can do that. You can bypass the uh, yellow shell completely. Yelling at clouds? Why are you yelling at clouds? Do, do, do. There we go. Perfect. I have to remember I need to not do the thing. And then here. So you can, like, this part is really cheesable at, like, here. Because you have the blue piece, which Yoshi can... Uh, eat and you can actually like re-grab it if you really want And I don't remember I think you you're supposed to have the uh, The fire flower, but you can actually kind of skip that by having the p-switch Because Here with my ultimate wisdom. I was like, oh, hey, you're supposed to like fly under here and like make Yoshi get hit and like run back and forth, which is not actually what you're supposed to do. But, but, so, so nope. Uh, the cheese, the cheese is strong. No, Yoshi, come back. I thought I was getting like jump on that, that duder. And then here, which this part is actually like a lot easier to do small. Ah, ah, ah. So yeah, you get hurt, you get here, let Yoshi run like faster so you can go in here. And this is where I was saying like, oh, you can like, if you have the the first P switch and you do this, like you can, you can really just like cheese through this entire thing. And here, I'm assuming, like, that is what you're supposed to do. Like, just glitch into this wall. Because it just kind of lets you. But there's a block. I'm not going to read it because I'm going to let other people read it. So that's, like, that's kind of what I did. Uh, and then I kept trying to do it, like, super quickly to go through through it. But there's there's a lot of cheese that can be done in that level. There's a lot of cheese that can be done. Anyway. It's a it's a nice level. It's a fun level. I, I quite enjoyed running through it. Let's see. What else is there? <gasps> art! Oh, I love art. I love the art threads that show up. Let's see. Send the character OC I'll make a little pixel art. Oh, I should. I should. 
I should send my my character that I like using because he is he is amazing. I really like uh really like my plumber who character and pretty much every um C3 I ask people to like redo it. <laughs> it's a it's a very very breakable <laughs> very breakable level i told you about it i told you you could break it pretty easily um i mean it's really the character things are really like easy to do this is rubber jig the one that rubber jig made is probably my favorite out of all of them um i want to say i am missing one that i have on my computer I haven't uploaded that um I think it was Lucas made and I really should add it in here and I forgot and it's it's not not good of me let's just let's just take a little clippy clap of of this and then figure something out I don't know I'll I'll upload something later so I'm not doing that right now go through all my my stuff I normally do. Um, let's see. We have musics. We have another request. Another request thread. What is this one? Uh, don't have anything better to do with my time. Um, background. Make every single foreground background layer three and spike sprite graphic request. Ooh. If you want some requests. If you want some requests, they can they can be right here. <laughs> you just ask. Just ask. Just join three C3 and request three things. Let's see. Dippy. What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. It's a port. It's an SPC. We could listen to that. We can listen to music. Just, just crank that music right on up so we can listen to it. I can't say I'm familiar with it though. Yeah, I can't say I'm familiar with that. It's nice. I really, I do enjoy it. I do like, I do like the this music. I'm just not familiar with uh, the song. Let's see, segment has more musics. Mario's Time Machine and miscellaneous uh, Ness and MS. I don't know what the MS thing would be. Well, that opens on the, <laughs> that opens on the site. Master System. Okay, that that makes sense. Master System. Thank you, segment, for correcting me. <laughs> correcting me on your thread. I do like it. I do. I do like. I do like the uh, the music. I will. I'll turn it down slightly, but uh, just let it just let it play. I do want to turn down my own thing so I can hear myself think but yeah we'll just we'll just let that play in the background right now while we look at other things I really should update my my stream playlist it is a really old playlist it's all music from the the site the playlist I usually have um but it's it's just older it's like a year and a half old and there's been a whole lot more music added since then so it's it doesn't have a bunch of the newer stuff oh jesus the oh i wonder if yoshi fanatic made this for um uh ladies man or if this just happened to uh coincide with it Yeah, the the actual intros. Made in Super Mario World. A 
watch the little little video but yeah this is actually there's a little bit of a little bit of like mistiling right there I wonder if that's how the original game was or not I don't know I don't know this is like I I wish I wish I really knew how to do things like this. Yeah, it's a patch. Cutscene revolution patch. Um, I don't exactly. I would have to open it up and like really look about look at how it uh really works. But this would be like really interesting if you can make. Obviously, you can make like full cutscenes like this, but just to the extent you can do like that's that's really really amazing honestly oh no peach has been kidnapped because we were too obsessed with flying <laughs> too obsessed with flying to notice that she went missing i'm going to assume I'm going to assume the sepia and the logo. I'm I'm assuming that's not in the game. It could be. It could be like that does look like something that's feasible. But I'm not oh, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I don't think I'll go through all of these. But at least a couple of them. This is the alternate, the alternate opening cutscene with the autumn theme. And it looked like they had, uh, Peach was riding Yoshi. So, curious about that. To be honest, I haven't actually played through, um,. I haven't actually played through most of Super Mario Advance 2. Like, I know it exists. And I know it adds a lot of stuff to Super Mario World uh, beyond just, like, porting the game over. Like, there are some extras and stuff. I just, I never found it that appealing. Yeah, that's what I was, I was thinking is dynamic um graphics but it's like i'm kind of wondering if it's uh like for bb bpp like it probably is it just the amount of detail that's on it just it looks like more detail than what should be possible with the snes and just like graphics like normal 16 by 16 graphics but i'm really not really sure. Oh, Mega Man 7. <gasps> Kirby! Oh, Kirby. He has done... Oh, what did he do last year? He's done a lot of disassemblies over the years. So it's like... Yeah, he's done a lot of his disassemblies. What else do we have? A Kaizo game. Um, I'm not gonna grab this because I am not good with Kaizo stuff, but this may be shown off later by someone that is uh, a lot better with Kaizo. So, sneak peek. This this may actually get played uh, later on. But I am <laughs> I am not I am not good. We I mean we could look at the playlist and see. Um, we can watch, we can see the first, the first one. Look at this. Look at this man go. This is amazing. You know, I've, I always find like Kaizo really fun to watch. I'm not really good at it. I can kind of brute force my way through, but I'm not like super good at Kaizo myself but just watching it just 
it's amazing what people have figured out they can do in Super Mario World. Like, it really is. Like, look at this. Those those springs, I'm assuming... I'm, I'm saying I'm assuming. Those could just be custom blocks because they're not actually bouncing or anything. Um, I was going to say I'm assuming sprites on uh, platforms and other things. But... I mean, it does kind of clash, but um, those could have just been custom blocks. Actually, they could have also been um, the slopes, the slope tiles that were just re-graphicked. Because if you throw a turn block or uh, throw a block against a slope, it'll actually bounce back. So I mean, that could have been what it was too. I like I like sitting here thinking. With my like my knowledge of oddities in Super Mario World, like how to do things in a more vanilla way. That is like a thing I like doing. Is this the same song? I think it is. <laughs> it is. It's just going forever. Listen to Super Mario Bros. Two by Segment. Not by segment. Re, re remade by segment. There we go. <laughs> That's how we do it. Made you hate vanilla. Like, was it mostly vanilla resources or did you have custom blocks and stuff? Because I can think of ways, except for like, it looks like you have some ASM that allows sliding when you press down, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure. No, no, recreated, recreated by segment. Don't use logic here. But we have uh, a plumber for all seasons. Uh, nine and a half years. Jeebus, that is a long, long time. To be fair, I have a hack in limbo that's been in limbo for since like 2008. So you can do the math on that. Like, it's been a really long time. But, uh... Is it is it actually out? So that, that goes to his, uh... Work in progress thread. Oh, out very soon. We can, we can watch this. I mean, it's always been impressive for me. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pause some segments music so we can appreciate this in its entirety. Like, look at these graphics. Look at this. This is so amazing. Like, I love, I love the graphics that are in, in this and like the ASM that he's like done with, um, HDMI like this right here like look at that you can go in the water and you can see like it shift it's so good it is so good this is like one of the hacks I am so looking forward to um I know Von Fahrenheit has uh, one as well and like that one looks really good as well but yeah white Yoshi egg he has always done such amazing stuff. And this hack is like no different. So good. Um for for playing, I'm just I'm just going through C3 C3 threads. Um, and checking them out. I will listen to like music people have submitted. I'll watch uh, pull up the trailers that people have done. Um, I'll play hacks that people have put up. So we're just we're just going through C3. We're just going through. We're having good time. Coming July. Wow. July 3rd. Two days. 
two days from now. That is amazing. He's always done great work, but seeing his hack like finally coming together is is really just really just amazing. Let's see. Let's put on segments music again. Which more character select? Another Super Mario Bros. Two. Oh, sampled and unsampled. What is this? Chocolate mound? Vanilla dome. Um, that whole level. Well, it's more than just urchins in that level, but yeah, lion guy and ur urchins. Oh, bootleg Super Mario World. Okay, that's why it sounds familiar, but slightly off. Like, I was getting, gonna say, like, it sounds so familiar, but something's just not right about it. Oh, Eevee! Eevee's comic! So if you, if you don't know, Eevee has, uh, uh, comics that, that are made. And they are very nice. They are very nice art style, and I quite enjoy them. And so, uh, if you would like to see Eevee's, uh, artwork, there they are. And you will, you should enjoy them because they are very, very lovely. Very nice, very nice style. I do. I, I really like Eevee's art style. Uh, let's see. The ROM hack guessing game. Um, that I've already looked at that one. Super Mario. Let's look at look at some uh, Super Mario Bros. X two. I'm assuming this is for. At least it says Super Mario Bros. X two. Let's see. X two beta four. Let's let's check out this. You know, I really, I really like, I really like, uh, Super Mario Bros. X, like, as a concept. And I think it's, it can be, re like, used really well to make, like, other fan games because it's kind of expanded beyond, uh, Super Mario Brothers with the new, like, level building engine type of thing. And it's still, like, really good for platformers. And I think it's like a really good engine, but I really hate the physics in it. Like, at least the default physics. I really don't like them. But like with what people have done and the other characters, like you can you can swap up those physics and stuff. Like this is this looks really good. Like this looks like a proper fan game. And not even a fan game. Like, this could be its own, like, indie title, right? Um, I haven't really messed with the overworld. I know there have been... Oh, I'm trying to think of who it is uh, that posts on the Discord uh, every now and then and shows off what they've done with the... Uh, overworld because they've they've made like splines instead of like the normal pathing system and it seems to work a lot better and much more fluid and you can have different like better shapes to it but all in all i've um it might be it might be mr double a i'd have to look because i know someone someone has um but yeah, in my in like my opinion, I don't like it quite as much as like Super Mario World hacks. But what you can actually do with the system, the engine, and like how it works, you can make really neat fan games just like this one right here. Like it looks really nice. I'm just I'm torn on like the, I guess the basics of the engine. But it's like, <laughs> why isn't this just its own game? Like this looks like it could be its own game. But yeah, that's, 
It's so good. It's so good. C3 always has, like, some of the more, like, interesting things coming out. Let's see. Kaizo 3 styled project. Hmm, interesting. Not, I mean, there's not a whole lot of to take away from like three screenshots, but but it does. They do look good. I mean, the screenshots do look good. You have a uh, Chuck Gate right here. He can jump through. Uh, Got to dodge the um, Sumo Bro. A fish that I'm assuming you would have to like not hit with the block but hit the thing with the block maybe you could hit them both with a like well-timed throw and then this is honestly double chuck gay but kinda kind of just generic kaizo but I mean hey it looks nice Yeah, I mean that's probably the best the best thing you can do is the request form if you don't know ASM. Like I don't really know ASM. I just I can hack things together. Like I can smoosh them. I can take two ASM files and do the like now kiss thing and like kinda make it work. But that's that's like the best I can do. Let's see. Uh, ooh, first participation in C3. Let's see. More music. Okay, so that is a download, and this is a another download. And let's see. Extract. That's where it goes. I have way too many files <laughs> folders on my desktop that I need to uh I need to go through. That is, that is something I need to do. Airman D and B That's a really nice remix. This is, this is a very nice remix. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> nope was uh, making a C3 uh, stream for him. This is very nice. This is a very nice thing. Let's, let's open it. Let's open this up. Super Mario Bros. X. Another Mario Bros. X adventure. I mean, I like what you can do. Like, that's another thing I really like about Super Mario Bros. X. Is you're not really that limited on the graphics you can use. Because it's not just a 16-bit, like, graphical style. You can, you can really throw in whatever you want. And having these types of overworlds, like, this looks really nice. Like, I really enjoy overworlds that look like this. Like, this would be really neat to make as, like, like, this one's listed as Lost World, which makes sense. But, like, instead of a star, a star world, having something more similar to this. Swamp. Kind of swamp. Shipwreck. I'm guessing swamp because there's like little seaweed, like grass tufts in the water. Kind of a valley. I would I would call it desert, but it looks more like a um, like a plateau or a mesa type of thing. Like more more clay-ish, but still like high heat. Like that's what this reminds me of. Pumpkin land. Uh, Super Mario uh, Land 2. Here's the other one. Uh, Rampish. Rampish Chase. Magical Chase. That is a nice tune. I like this song. 
little island. <laughs> Wario's Island. And then we have we have some uh oh what do these do those fall are these like donut platforms like if you stand on them too long and they fall like that's the vibe I'm getting from them is they're kind of like slimy like slime blocks like I see Mario turning like green when he's like moving on them but maybe that's just like gift compression being weird. <laughs> Reminds me of Tank Tap Trouble. Oh man, that would be fun to make. Like a Tank Tap Trouble. Okay, so they just prevent jumping. That's why, I was like, I, I, I got the fact that it's, like, kind of slimy. Like, so I'm, like, trying to think of what what slime could be. Like, maybe it's slime on, on like, the walls. That if you stand on it too long, it just starts slowly sliding down. But not jumping would make sense. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. I actually really like this. The the almost like uh the hopping statues from Super Mario World, but just being taken out by <laughs> by the Mega Spike. Like it's so good. But yeah, like I really like I really do like what um people can do with Super Mario Bros. X. I just don't like the physics of the base game. Like, to me, they're just, it's so, such a weird, like, physics in it. It really is. Like, it, it's a really weird, like, it doesn't play quite right. I'm not going to go through, like, the entire 10 minutes. We'll, we'll skip around a little bit. See, see a level or two. Very Donkey Kong Country. But yeah, like the advancements made in Super Mario Bros. X is like really interesting. It really is. Um, with what you can do in it and everything. But it's just like... I don't know, the physics, the physics of it is more or less like what is, what isn't super great to me. We can watch, we can watch Mystery Egg Mania. Oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing where you can have Yoshi eggs that just have uh, enemies and, and items in them. Like, that is a neat, a really neat thing. And I know it's been, like, recreated in uh, Super Mario World to an extent. But I don't remember exactly how, like, how much it's been recreated. That is a very big bonus game. Huh. I bet... I bet I could, <laughs> I bet I could, like, kind of make that. One from Mario Gives Up and one from something else. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I would recognize either inspiration just from this. Like, I can't think of what level in Mario Gives Up would inspire this. And I really, I really don't even know what the other level would be. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really see either of them. Like, unless it's like the background or something from like one of them. But even then, I mean, it's kind of... Not generic background, but, uh, commonly used type of background with the, uh, like, nighttime and the big moon and everything. It's a gimmick. Yeah, I just, I don't remember. Um, 
he well this is probably floatier because this is uh super mario bros x and not super mario world or both i mean <laughs> both both works too but yeah this is super mario bros x so he probably is floatier um and that's that's one of the reasons why it's like I'm not a huge fan of the the physics in the game. It just they don't feel right because the game is really meant to emulate Super Mario World, but it kind of doesn't. Ooh, a boss fight. Oh. <laughs> I see the boss fight. Does it have dragon coins and star coins? Or am I, is that just like a total coin count that you're trying to get? I actually wasn't like paying attention too well at that. But boss fight. We get a boss fight. Couple, couple mushrooms to tide you over. And then I saw K. Rule. I did. I did see K. Rule. Okay, so star coins are optional things. King cut out. I don't. Do I remember? I've beaten Donkey Kong 64. I don't remember King Cutout. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Is he the boss of Creepy Castle? Like, I don't remember him. I remember the like armored armadillo. I remember the dragonfly. Um, the Jack in the Box? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember King Cutout. I really don't. And I've beaten that game like quite a few times. Huh. Yeah, I did. I just don't. I just don't remember that boss. I, you know, maybe, maybe it's the fact like it wasn't really that like outstanding of a fight that I don't remember it. I don't know. Maybe that's it. I remember the actual like K rule fight more because that one was just like ridiculous. You use all the monkeys. You have to, like, fight him in different ways in the boxing arena. Like, actual boxing, dropping lights on him, shooting his toe with feathers. Like, that was the weirdest part in that fight. Uh, little, little enemies fall. Cranky? Get out of here, Cranky. No. Destroy that nightmare. No, it throws veggies. It's not a nightmare machine. It will solve the world hunger problem. a boss that that's another thing that i do like about um mario bros x is even though the boss fights do take a little bit more to like really figure out and it's not even that you like you really have to like make asm and figure it out that way it's just like you have to figure out how to kind of like piece them together with what you have you can make some really really interesting 
really interesting things. And then we have Super Mario Bros. Flash 2. Super Mario Flash 2. The remake. Oh, it's in the waiting section. Wow, they did that fast. Segment, how long did this guy this take you guys? Because I know you only started talking about it, at least on the Discord, like recently. Right? Like, I, I'm not like misremembering that. Yeah, that was that was fast. Now go away, Winrar. No one no one wants to admit they buy you. Or don't buy you. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, no, the, uh, just, just do the overworlds. Um, let's see. Where is it? Uh, Super Mario Flash 2 remake. Okay, let us pause this. Open this. I'll minimize that. So look at the overworlds, you say. Empty file. But I can't do the ov just the overworlds. I can't go everywhere. And I can't press start. It does. It does have fancy ASM, which is which is nice. We we can play a level. Is it just me or is it like really quiet? Like Why is it so quiet? I don't know why it was so quiet compared to like other games. Did you? Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot. There's some like misspelling things you know I really like I have played Super Mario Bros flash but it's been a really long time oh yeah the flash coin there's one flash coin in every level try to find them or something special but yeah this was this was put out like really fast because they hadn't like really worked on it for very long from what I what I understand. Some layer three water. The game saves automatically when you're on the world map. Good to know, game. Good to know. And there's the goal. I'm just gonna just gonna move it. I'm just gonna move it. Uh here. There we go. I'm so used to playing stuff more on the right side of, or the left side of my screen than the right, uh, because I have a, a ultra wide monitor. <laughs> it's like, uh, so weird playing on the right side. Stevie, Stevie, how long did this guy, this take you guys to do? Cause I re remember like it was joked about for a little bit. And now it's like finished. I just, I don't remember you guys really talking about this for very long before it's out now, apparently. Bouncy bouncy bounce. Lost my Yoshi because I wasn't paying attention because I was reading chat. Blame you chat. Blame you. What you get? What you get for distracting me. Mid-June. Yeah, so it really hasn't been that long. Oh, you used the thing. You used the thing to, like, put layer three back. Um, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know if it would have, um. Um, yes, you, you are. Uh, that's something, I mean, no Noivern would have to, uh, would fix. Pretty much any, any, uh, mod on the site, any staff, was given the, uh, choice to become mod on, um, 
Twitch. Man, I don't re don't know why I didn't like that. Completely did not register in my brain correctly. The name of this website. You ripped the twi uh, the the font. This this whole thing is really good. Like it is actually. I remember like vaguely remember Mario Flash, uh, too. I didn't play it as much as like other people did. Um, but I vaguely, kind of vaguely remember it. Wait over here. Wait over here. No hang glider. I don't remember the hang glider. Oh, there's a, I knew there was a secret exit. The level was red. Oh, game crashing. Um, do you know what the bug is that causes the game to crash? And is it like repeatable or is it like random? I do. I didn't find the flash coin. You're right. Uh, I need, <laughs> I need to find the flash coin. Uh, don't carry Yoshi at level nine. Just a spike or is it a specific spike? Any spike. That's weird. I don't know. I kind of think it's up there. Like that is my that is my uh personal belief is it's up there. But I don't actually know. Any spike. I'm close. Am I am I close in thinking it's up there? Because that's like what I really want to, really want to like figure out. Ah. I'm not close. I'm close, but it's not up there. <laughs> Why? Why you do this to me? I wanted to go in this pipe, but it won't let me. Uh, it's up some platforms. Where else did I see platforms? There's up there, but that's where the keyhole was. Is it up here? Found it. Uh, I found it. But yeah, this is, this really is like re reminiscent of playing like old, old flash games. You know, I realized why the game's probably is super quiet. I turned down my uh, audio settings to like myself. So I'm like, why is it so quiet? Because I turned it down for myself so I could like hear myself talk. That's what I get for being like half deaf and like needing to hear myself to know what my volumes are so I'm not like overly yelling. Can I bring, can I bring Yoshi into this game, into this level? Can I bring him in here? Can I, uh, get him to eat a spike? Nope. That's not, no, that's not the answer I want. <laughs> I want to be able to bring Yoshi in here so he can, so he can, I mean, it, it's a castle level, but that doesn't mean you can't have Yoshi. Yoshi does work. He just has glitch graphics. I didn't get to the springboard yet. I wanted to like do things in like a weird order that makes no sense. Why would I, why would I do things in a logical way? That makes no sense. I don't know. There's spikes in the next level. We're going to make Yoshi crash. Um, I don't know if you have the hack in the, um, waiting section or if it's already been accepted. So you can say if it's in the waiting section, that game crashing bug may, may, uh, may, uh, make it so it gets rejected. Oh. 
But yeah, it, it might make it get rejected because it's a uh, game breaking bug. I don't know how you would like fix that though. I mean, why would it not be a pretty standard boom boom? Yeah, I don't, I just don't know how you would fix it. Okay, so there's spikes in the next level. So let's go get a Yoshi and like figure that out. I don't think I'm going to play through a whole lot of this so I can still continue to check out other things. Um, but I do want to see the, I do want to see the crash. So I am big. I am on Yoshi. Super Mario. Hmm. Hmm. Ow, Yoshi, come back. I did not want to get hit there. I want to, like, see this this crash bug. I also want to get that coin. I mean, you could, you could force Yoshi. Or like, yeah, I mean, that's, that's an option. You could force Yoshi to not be in levels with spikes. Which, I mean, is just kind of an easy, easy way. So you have to touch him from the side. Is there an easy spot where I can hit him from the side? Because, I mean, I got hurt. I died, so I didn't like. Did I, did I, <laughs> did I not break your game? Did I not break your game the way it's supposed to break? <laughs> no, there's no hurt animation. See, like you just, you just turn small. <laughs> um, what, what were you testing it on? Um, I mean, it could be a different spike tile. Um, it could be a different spike tile. Cause it's like, where, where else? I don't know what what other spike. It, it was munchers. Where are munchers? If I know where munchers are. Huh. Okay. Well, you know, I'm getting I'm getting save the rest. I'm getting save the rest for other people to play. But uh Yeah, no that's that's weird. Um, I don't, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I don't have anything like odd in the, in the hacks thing. But, uh, wait, turn this on. Cause you have the yellow, the yellow spikes. So unless it's like the yellow spikes. I don't know. Do not know. Uh, let us keep going. Let me, um... Do something really quick.
Okay. So let's see. Let's a refresh here. Um, art. I think I looked at the art. Uh, only sprites. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just be right back really quick. I'm going to let the music just play. I said five minutes and I lied because I really just needed to like get up and stretch and be somewhere not as hot because it's still hot here but it's not as bad as it was like earlier this week anyway let us let us keep going bean burrito why why <laughs> why bean burrito why apple boy um yeah, I mean that's a good that's a good question. It's like what emulator was used that caused the crash? Was it a specific version of like SNES 9X or BSNES? Was it BizHawk? Uh, was it um, you know on console? It only crashes if you hit the spikes on from the left. Okay, uh, maybe I'll play with play around with it later and see like what I can do. Actually, uh, it saves. It saves when you beat a level, right? I can, I can, I can go back in because I, I still have that level. I can go get a Yoshi. We, we can just look. Um, I mean, Z SNES still works on Windows. It works perfectly fine on Windows 10. I, I don't know what else what, what else you want from it. But yeah, like ZSNES still works. Finding the proper like Windows executable for it is kind of a pain. But it still works fine. I don't know why people are like, oh no, ZSNES doesn't work anymore on Windows 10. Yeah, it does. Works perfectly fine. I have never had an issue running ZSNES on Windows 10, which is weird uh, that I would even want to. But I have had a couple times when I uh, needed to boot it up to uh, test something and like see if it works. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, almost to the spikes. So it, they only crash on the left. him so they only crash on the left oh oh that's <laughs> that's interesting <laughs> okay <laughs> okay I, I see what's going on 
<laughs> I see the issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. Oh, uh, it it probably probably a rejection reason, but that's amazing. It really is. Like, why why does that work? I don't, I don't even understand and it's it's only when you're big right like if you're small it doesn't work that's so weird why why does that why does that's so weird yeah, I have I have no I have no idea why that would do do that. I mean, like I could think of maybe some things like why would why would only the left hand side cause that though? And I'm wondering if it's like just spikes or if it's anything that like calls the hurt routine. But why only on the left? That's so weird. Like, I mean, a simple, a potential simple fix is just adding in your own Well, yeah, it's like a no Yoshi entrance, but if you're trying to recreate a game that allows Yoshi there. Oh, you you, you missed it. You missed you missed the, the game crash. Um, but yeah, like custom hurt block. Um Yeah, I don't I don't know what else. Like, if it's just that one tile doing it, like, using a different tile, like, there's no, there's no silver P-switch, right? So you could have a block that just acts like... Oh man, that would be, that would be great, but... I'll, I can do it again. <laughs> that was way too good. That was way too good. Yeah, no, it's so, it's such a weird coincidence. Um, I can try, I can check it to see if it happens with, uh, out Yoshi. Man, I went through this entire level to the, pretty much the end, not the end, but the midway point. To get a power up. And now I have to like, either go all the way to the beginning or all the way to the end. It is, it's such a weird, like, edge case. Let's go through, let's get a Yoshi. I really should just make a, like, a save state there. So I can, like, mess around with it more. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, the things I could think about, like, I could think that could potentially be a fix is... Instead of using the spike, use a tile that acts like the muncher just with spike graphics. Um, use any like custom hurt block. Um, as long as those like work and it's not like the fact calling the routine does something weird and funky. Because it almost feels like it has something to do with It almost feels like it has something to do with how the routine gets called, but I don't know if that would be the actual like case or not. Okay. Yoink. And it crashes. It crashes in so many like weird ways. Like, look at this. It sits there. It turns black. 
if you get it like the first one was amazing though the first one was amazing I don't know <laughs> it's art it's modern modern art but yeah it's like you could you could prob if I can do it right I can do it right freaking Yoshi in the way yeah so you just you just die like it's such a weird edge case like look at this modern art <laughs> Super Mario World no longer no longer supports Flash. <laughs> oh, it's so great! It's so like there's zero reason for this, right? Absolutely, just <laughs> no no reason for this. It just crashes. Um. Like if I knew if I really knew how to use debuggers, uh, I would like put a breakpoint or something and be like, well, what's causing this? Like, what is jumping so out of bounds here that it just breaks the game? It is. It's a really strange like. It's a really strange bug, cause it looks like. If you even like touch the side in a way that would normally allow Yoshi to like kind of clip back onto it, it just it still breaks. It. So I loaded my save state. This is this is my save state I loaded. It was still broken in my save state. How does that work? How does how does my save state get corrupted from that? What have, what have you guys done? What have you guys done with this thing? <laughs> like I'm I, I I might keep this like version forever <laughs> cuz it crashed my save state. Oh man. Like my safe state's fine, but it like it loaded part of the RAM that was still like or ROM or whatever that got corrupted. Like, I don't I don't even know how that worked. I mean I could boot it up in another emulator. Um, I guess I, I could because that's just using SRAM. I'd have to figure out where the SRAM saves for my, <laughs> my other emulators. Um, this one that saves. Find it in my big list of things. SRAM. Let's see. Did I put it here? Does that work? I don't know. We'll figure. We'll figure this out. I'll try. I will try. Try Beast Nest and see what Beast Nest says. Uh, which background? I'm choosing to. That is what I'm doing. I am choosing to do this. Where is it? Tomorrow Flash. Um, so Bizhawk by default would use. Oh, I, I moved. Friggin', okay. Uh, unload game. I moved where I put things for that. Do, do, do. Yes. 
This is the problem. This is the problem having so many uh, emulators and stuff. Okay, so now. Why did that load there? Why is it loading right there? Set system. You know what? Let's just let's just hard clear it. Do this. Place that. Open beast nest again. It probably is, like I have no doubt it's most likely a universal thing. But I mean it is very curious. It's empty why why whatever whatever I will I will check things out later but yeah that's so weird <laughs> such a weird weird bug um but Apple boy you mentioned uh background unless you disappeared oh did my did my Miku background show up I can I can show people Miku I've I have Miku as my as my background. Because I like Miku. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's not even like the full background because I have such a big screen. Um, Miku has a bunch of uh, different art. And this is just one of her many, like, art styles. I don't know. She wears clothes, different clothes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of like um, on Discord. If you actually look at my like uh, profile banner thing, like it's a different Miku thing as well. Ooh, TikTok clock. I realize. I just realized I have like segments music playing. And it just doesn't even like register that it, it's it's playing. Something by Oh, it's this song. I'm like Toby Fox. Why does that sound so familiar? It's Undertale. I know it does like the music is just playing and it didn't even like register that, <laughs> that it was going. Listen, listen to some of uh, Clock's new songs. I do like I do like Undertale music. Undertale is actually like I will sometimes just throw on the Undertale soundtrack while I'm like doing stuff. It has really nice music. It really does. You do you not do you really not know what Undertale is? Undertale is like it's an indie game that came out a couple like few years ago. Like I don't know, five years ago, six years ago. Um and you pretty much choose to either be a pacifist or not in the game. And uh if you choose not to be a pacifist, um I mean, it's hard to tell because some people legit don't know. Some people like just <laughs> just post things like that. But I mean, it's a fun game. I really enjoyed it when when I played through it a couple times. No, no. See, what you do is you be a pacifist first, and then you choose not to be a pacifist. Because once you do the pacifist. People are like, hey, you got to do the, the genocide route. But what's really interesting is if you do the genocide route and then go back and do the pacifist route, it actually changes some of the dialogues because the game knows that you did the genocide route first or have already done it. So it changes some of the dialogues up and it actually changes the ending slightly. 
So it's really interesting to do the genocide run and then the pacifist run again. So it, like, it's it's an interesting game. It's one of the first games that like kept track of like random things. Oh, bad apple. We can listen. We can listen to some to some to who music. I have not played, like, I think I've only played, like, two of the Toho games. I have not played very many of them. I'm not super great at, uh, Bolt Hell games, but they are, they are very fun. I just have not played very many of them because I'm not super good at them. But I do like Bad Apple. It is a, it is a good song. Winds of the... This is from Roblox? Really? I'm just... I'm just gonna show you, like... This is Zeesness. It runs fine. Like, it really, it really does. I have the newest version of Windows 10. My computer just updated. It runs fine. I don't know, I don't know, um... What you're doing. This is, this is legit Zeesness. So I don't know. Don't, don't know. Thought I'd point that out to you. In fact, um, let me just do this. Because this should... Should also... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so the one I just tried to open, the ZSNES I tried to open, is the very, very first version of ZSNES uh, that was released for Windows. So that one potentially is too old. But, uh, yeah, no, you can open the newest version of ZSNES perfectly fine. Yeah, so it, it could be like you just have an older version, uh, but the newest version of ZSNES actually works. Um, and in fact, I don't even have the newest, technically the newest version. Uh, so a little bit of lore on ZSNES for people that don't know. Um, ZSNES uh, 1.51, I believe, is uh, the version. So, Z, yeah, ZSNES uh, 1.51 is not the newest version. ZSNES 1.52 is the newest version. However, all it does is it fixes the issue about the exploit. Um, so, 1.52 fixes the exploit, but other than that, it was not updated in any other way. So most people never even knew it came out because at that point, everyone had moved past uh, ZSNES to SNES 9X and BSNES and ZSNES kind of disappeared for the most part. Like it's super hard to actually find a copy of the Windows EXE now. Uh, and I've never seen a copy of the 1.52 EXE but I do know it actually exists. Anyway, let's go here. Let's throw on more of, let's, what is this one? Some more of segments music. Hourglass, ooh, what is this? What is this? This looks puzzly, 
puzzly puzzle. Ooh, there's a hack teaser. Sorry, segment. I just turned your music on, but we gotta we gotta watch the the hack, the the hack trailer. Gotta see what this is all about. Oh, so you have to go back and get like double keys. Interesting. Kind of a like Kaizo puzzle hack? What is the point of keeping the key then if it just like pops with that gate? I guess that shows you that that gate pops items. I guess that would be. I mean, that's a decent like point of the gate, right? That shows you that the gate pops items. So you have, oh wow. I mean, you could <clears throat> spend a little bit more time going back and forth with Yoshi to not have to do the, the double, pretty much double, double eat. Um, but that's interesting. I didn't realize, I mean, I should have realized because it's not that hard to do double eat to count as like three enemies instead of just two. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Why would you want to pop Yoshi there? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Why would you want to, like, pop Yoshi? Maybe you don't need to and you just did to, to show it off. That's neat. I like these. I really do like, like, puzzle hacks. But this is, this looks like it's kind of on the Kaizo side. But still, puzzle hacks are really, yeah, it even calls it Kaizo Light. Um, puzzle hacks are really neat. I really enjoy, enjoy playing them. Let's see. What else? Kezo 3 saw that. Dark Prince's desperate <laughs> C3B background request thread. Image that could be one request per person. Unless you want an image with layer 3 parallax. Huh. What is this? That's a nice building set. What about this one? What is this? Oh, that's nice too. But that would be, this would be really hard to kind of make into SNES. Because that's really big. And it would have to be down, down sampled something fierce. Like this one's colorful, but it's not so bad because it looks like it's the right dimensions and everything. Well, yeah, I mean, he can choose what he wants to do. Um, I'm just saying like the sample size of this is like, it's big. Jukebox. Wait, what is this? The not so boyo jukebox too. Oh, these are these are these are more 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 musics. Let's see. Cave story. I enjoy cave story. I need to play through cave story again. Man, it's been it's been far too long since I've played through cave story. Uh, no, that is, that's not how that works. Um, so it's still eight by seven because eight by seven is the pixel dimension of 
like the screen. However, uh, the PAL uses like a bigger, it's a bigger thing. It's not a different ratio from what I, what I understand. Um, overscan, that's it. That's what I'm, what I'm thinking of is they use the overscan. So it is taller, but it's not a different dimension. Something like that. It's the overscan. But yeah, no, the, um, uh, the PAL ROMs are, are bigger, which is really weird because they have other like oddities with them as well, but a tiny world episode. Oh, I think, whoa, what is this Resnor? Who did a Resnor like this? That's the Resnor boss, right? Did it, was it Soniku that did the Resnor boss? Oh, this is uh, more Super Mario Bros. X2. Yeah, no, it it is. It is uh, Mr. Double A that was doing the splines for the overworld because I, I recognize this, like, screenshot. He was showing that off. My little drawings. Oh, look at them. <laughs> I love that little Koopa. As... I love this uh, this little man this little man right here like look at him look at him zoom in zoom in on him because I can look at this little man I love him he's he is my favorite my favorite out of like all of these <laughs> not gonna lie I really like the fish too oh that fish that fish is just, he's trying his best. <laughs> he's just trying his best. Uh... <laughs> That's an amazing fish. Uh, I love it. I love that little fish. These are great. I love these. These, yeah. This art. I really like art. <laughs> Art, art's just, art is just a wonderful thing because like everyone can do can do art. Let's see. I don't know. Are these background? Oh, they must be uh, background foreground uh, things. I I. I like this one. It reminds me of uh, uh, Mario Wings to the Sky from uh, Mario 64. That's what this reminds me of. Make Man Sprite Pack. Four sprites in one ASM file. Interesting. Um, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it uses the uh, extra bits too determine what they do. I actually like these little guys. You know, I will say like, I really like people that put multiple, um, multiple sprites in a single ASM file, because then you can have multiple sprites all controlled with extra bits and stuff. The only downside is it makes them, in my opinion, a pain to edit if you want to, like, change basic things about them. Um, because I'm not good with ASM, and that's just, that's really hard for me to do. I mean, that is, that is kind of true. There aren't a lot yet, but... C3 has only been running for what about three hours now because I started in, like an hour and a half after it it started and I've been going for an hour and 45 minutes or so so it's been like three hours and 15 ish minutes what 
What is this? Oh, is this music? Let's pause that. See what this is. I do not recognize the music at all. Huh. This is interesting. I will, I will probably have to check that out and see. Cause yeah, it's, it's very interesting, but it, it's some of that music that like makes me zone out really hard. So I don't want to sit here and like try and listen to it right now. Um, but we can throw on some, some other things. Some other music. To-do list. Ooh. What does Ultima have? Um, Marvel superheroes. Oh, ports. Some Marvel superheroes, Castlevania Bloodline, Super Contra, Sonic Advance 3. Neat playlist of the ports they've made. Let's see. Refresh. Uh, only sprites. Did I look at this one? I think I stared at it. Oh, no, I didn't look at this one. That one's almost over. Let's look at, look at only sprites. The first level. This has to be using a SA1, right? Like, I'm betting the newer one with max tile. It has to, right? Like that is, that is way too many sprites. Yeah, I know that has to be using max style. That's so interesting. That is, it doesn't look like max style. Like I know SA1 allows for a lot of sprites. But does it really allow for like this many? Like SA1 by itself? Cause what the original, the original game is like 12, like at max and SA1 is like 25, something like that. Because technically the first game could like Without SA1, it could be more, but it doesn't like 22. Okay. I don't know. It just looked like more than 22. Oh, how do you, how do you, uh, fix the, fix the crash? <laughs> this title screen. It's so good for like no reason. Okay, so so custom hurt block does does work. Yeah, that's what I figured is like just use a custom custom hurt block. Let's see. What other what other musics? Oh, Carol Blaster. It's been a long time since I pl played any of the um what is what is the guy's name that did Carol Blaster? Cause it's it's still Pixel, right? That did Carol Blaster? Cause he did um Cave Story, he did Carol Blaster. He did another one. Um the little squid game, right? 
I, oh, what's the name of that little squid game? But I made that one too. Look at these graphics. Look at these graphics. These are nice. Shown them off before uh, in levels he's made, but these are these are nice graphics, nice rips. I really do. I do like these, and they're so like they're kind of 8-bit, but they still fit in like kind of the 16-bit genre of Super Mario World. Like these ones up here really do like the color palette and everything. Uh, these really feel like Mario Bro Bros. 3. Like, that's what these feel like to me. Um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just very, like, more 8-bit. And these ones are more 16-bit. And then this one is definitely, like, 16-bit. But those are, those are good. I like those graphics. What else do we have? single unsampled port <sighs> sure we can we can look at the single unsampled port romancing saga it's been a long time since i played romancing saga oh when was the last time i played it i don't even know i don't even know when the last time i played it was Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> uh, little tiny Freddy. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that tiny, tiny little Fred bear. So, he's so small. There we go. Oh, that's such a useful, useful thing. So, I just want to show this off. See how blurry it is? Like, it's blurry, right? For no reason, because how Chrome does their thing is it interlaces stuff, or by it does a bilinear, bilinear uh, upscale. I can just press this button, and it's super clear because then it does nearest neighbor, and it's it's so good. It's just a little like JavaScript that I have for browsers. But look at these, look at these mans. I really like the Tiny Freddy. I really do. I really like the Tiny Freddy. And the Overworld Freddy, like, is this, is the Overworld Freddy based off of, um, the little Golden Freddy sprite in, uh, is it the third game where the kid is, like, walking around outdoors? Like, has a little Golden Freddy that, like, watches him. I think that's the third game. I think, for the most part, I've kind of gone through most of the stuff here. Oops. Watch the teaser to, to this hack. Fernando's hack. I'm going to assume, I'm assuming this is not like the actual Super Mario World title screen. That's what I'm assuming. It's interesting. Very like Mario centric player. I do, I do like this little like frog guys instead of, uh, Sound frog. Little frog guys. Oh, that's a that's a really nice like puppy little doggo sprite. Like look at this. That is that is a really nice little sprite. Some Yoshi things. Some other players. Um that music is done. 
pretty much listened to most of uh, Seg's music. It was a doggy, little doggy. Well, no, I know, I know your actual. I mean, the video itself wasn't the um, wasn't made in Super Mario World. I know you, that you did put that in your title, um, because you've shown off the, I think just the title, on Discord. Oh no, I I already checked that out. I already checked out those uh things before yours. Oh, I did. You're right because I I went and loaded the um like the master system ones. Oh no, we we watched uh, some of the we watched a trailer for that, and Sub Zero Heroes is it looks really good. But yeah, I think I'm for the most part I've I've checked out most of the stuff. New pointless. I mean, oh, what are these? What are these? These are these are sprites, sprite spam. Oh, it's an actual, like, it's an actual hack. Okay. I was thinking it was, like, an actual thing about sprites. No, it's just, like, claustrophobic game with lots of, lots of sprites. Actually, it looks interesting. Oh, this one. I have seen quite a bit of this one uh, from the hack testing thread. And like <laughs> most of it's from been from segment because man, he writes essays and it is very impressive. But yeah, this game, this game looks really good. Like really, really good. Samari. Oh, Samari, that game. I remember playing that game. Such an awful game, <laughs> such an awful game. Uh, it's good. It's a good game though. It's just awful. It's one of those games that's like you play because you know it's going to be bad. The Friends Rescue. I'm trying to think of how long he was working on the Friends Rescue. Because I remember it, but I haven't haven't really like seen much about it for a while but yeah I have seen more of his newer stuff so that's that's neat um let's see super drag world uh, there's the music See what this trailer is about. I don't even know this music. I don't even know if this music is going to be good for Twitch or not. But it was only like 10 seconds. Ah, uh, like 15 seconds of music. Interesting. Kind of hard to like tell what's going on in it though. It looked good, but it was like kind of hard to tell what was going on. Um, let's see, what else do we have? To do, I think, I think I've gone through, like I said, most of the stuff so far. And of course, like throughout the day, tomorrow, the next day, there's gonna be more and more stuff coming through. But I might, Ooh, actually, let's look at this really quick. 
A uh, replacement patch for no more sprite tile limit aimed at fast ROM user. Interesting. So if you don't know about no more sprites tile limit, it actually can make lag worse because of how it allocates the OAM slots. So yeah, that'd be, that'd be interesting. If you can do, do this for a uh, fast ROM. Neat. That is, that is interesting. I know there's been a couple no more sprite tile limit type of patches rolling around that do uh, the same thing, but in like a different manner. And one of them is actually like faster because of how it allocates things, but you have to like predefine stuff and it's not in a dynamic fashion. Oh, 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 this, this. I heard about this. This is quite interesting. So this is Discord. These are Discord bots. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, no DOS. Um, that that is probably a uh good point because I do know the DOS version is still very easy to get a hold of compared to the. Uh, Windows version. So that that actually might be a uh, a thing about it. Yeah, no, I think that's the like. How would you really do that? That'd be yeah, that'd be interesting to do. But yeah, rewrite every graphical routine for Mac style. In non SA1. But yeah, Discord bots. Uh, Clyde is a bot meant for moderation. Uh, join leaves palette. Um, allows you to assign yourself custom names. Quote, I think it's this one, the SPC player, that was looking forward to. Um, yeah, live SPC gem. So very interesting, very interesting bots. And I know this one, the SBC player one was, uh, had garnered a lot of interest because it allows you to play SBC files in any voice channel. So I know that was a thing that was, uh, being looked at. Let's see. Anything, anything else? Epic 2. Let's see what Epic 2 is. Oh, it's another ROM hack. I think I, yeah, I think I remember that one. Yep, it did. It just got posted. <laughs> uh... But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind it down here uh, because it's been a couple hours. I need to go grab myself some lunch and all of that. And besides that, if I show off everything today, there's going to be less stuff for, you know, tomorrow and the next day. So I am going to just jump on over to my ending screen. And from here, uh, tomorrow, Nope is going to show off more of the, um, I mean, Nope could jump on if you want to, but Nope's going to be tomorrow uh, for part of the time. I don't know how long he's going to go, but I know he's going to go for a while. Uh, we're going to host Third Wall for some other stuff. And then Sunday, Nope will be back for more C3 showings. So... That is what the uh, weekend looks like. But for now, I will leave with some music and that will be it from me.